Hey guys, I have been wanting to make this recipe video forever. I was sitting around in the kitchen a couple of months ago and I was trying to create hummus from no recipe. So I was trying to just like, oh I found some hummus, so I was trying to make some homemade hummus. But it did not work. I am shit in the kitchen sometimes and yeah. So I did not end up making hummus, it went completely tits up. But I did create something better, like... This blows my mind. I created something that was kind of pink, kind of flaky-ish and kind of creamy. Um, and it tasted, I shit you not, exactly like tuna. So by some grace of God, I created vegan tuna by fucking up hummus. This recipe is really simple guys. It only has four ingredients and it's quick and easy and delicious. So I'm going to show you. How to make vegan tuna. Let's do this. So all you're gonna need for the ingredients is sun-dried tomatoes, a can of chickpeas, I'm using tin chickpeas just because they have that kind of salty fishy flavour from the brine that they're kept in. And we have some tahini, I happen to have light tahini but any tahini will do. Well as one lemon which we are going to use the juice of. Okay guys so the first thing you want to do is take four or five of your sun-dried tomatoes and just soak them in some water for 20 minutes. This just removes some of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes as well as rehydrates them and makes them easier to blend. So just leave them to soak for 20 minutes until they're nice and buffy and then just rinse them under the tap to remove some excess some of the extra oil left on there. I personally love the smell of sun-dried tomatoes. I think they are one of the most delicious things in the world but they're just really fucking oily. But yeah. There you go, those are the sundry tomatoes. Next you want to drain your chickpeas. Make sure you rinse your chickpeas after you drain them just to remove some of the excess brine and the excess can juice stuff because apparently that stuff makes you fart. So we don't want that. Now we're going to add half our chickpeas and our sundry tomatoes into the blender. Next we're going to add some tahini, make sure you stir your tahini well so the oil is like all mixed in with everything in there. I myself am not a massive fan of tahini but we're going to add one heaping teaspoon of the stuff. You should have something that looks a bit like a sludgy mess inside your blender and now it is time to blend. This part is a little tricky guys because you have to keep stirring everything so that it kind of mushes down into what you want it to be. Once it kind of gets like it's looking pink, you want to add the juice of half a lemon to kind of add a little bit of extra flavour and make it nice and liquidy. But as you can see, it's kind of looking like flaky tuna right now. And here we go. In my opinion, this looks exactly like flaky tuna that you would get out of the can. And you know what? It tastes pretty damn similar too. This time I just decided to make some nori with it, some sushi, and oh, wow, oh my god. Tuna is personally, or was personally, one of my favourite foods, like I ate it all the time. It was one of my favourite foods before I went vegan and yep, now I'm vegan, tuna and fish are not vegetables so we do not eat them. Like, fish is not a vegetable. <laughs> if you like it, then try it. Um, if you don't believe me that it tastes just like tuna, I dare you to try it because it does. Um, and if you have friends that are a bit cynical, shoots are like, oh, well, vegans eat vegetables. Well, we can now have tuna. My kitchen has really shit lighting, I'm sorry. 